Look at this, it's hard to imagine, isn't it? Right on Brackley's doorstep, part of the Great Central Railway, which is still walkable from the new estate to just uh, the other side of me. So yeah, it's surprising what you can find when you look. I mean, a lot of people probably know this is here, but it leads up towards Radstone. Um, I'll take some of that in a minute. So they're heading towards HS2, which is crossing over the old line. So we're gonna go up there and have a, a quick look, see what we can see. But yeah, walking on the trap bed now. As you can see, it's still pretty clear. Reasonably clear anyway. It's hard to imagine this was a, a main line. Still hard to believe, isn't it? And it's slowly disappearing. So yeah, let's go and have a look, see how HS2 is getting on. Just walk down the side of the embankment. A bit steep. And we've got open fields going up towards HS2, which is just at the top of this field. So we're going to have a quick look, see what's going on. Join us in a sec. So that's looking back towards Brackley in that direction. And this is heading up towards Radstone. And you can just make out the original GC fencing just in there. Some of it's still surviving. And down in that cutting, there's one place I haven't walked, it's really, really boggy down there. It's like a swamp. Um, yeah, I, don't, I would have thought it would have dried up through the summer, a dry summer, but I don't think it has. But you can see down there, it's like a jungle. Out, I'm just getting stung. So with the Great Central down here on the left, you can see the original Great Central fencing. I took a piece of this home and actually planed it down, a big chunk of this bit here. And uh, it was uh, a rich, deep red hardwood, uh, like a cedar wood, I think that's what you call it. So that's why it's largest, lasted so long. Back in the, the late uh, 1900s, that's when wood was decent. So that's why it survived so long. So yeah, there we go. Nice bit of uh, original GC fencing. But anyway. Right. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. You can keep on walking. You can just make out this mound up in the distance where HS2 is taking everything in its path. There's Austin enjoying his walk. Now I know I've covered this uh, not so long ago on a previous post. Um, uh, sorry, you know, like a, a video I've done about a month ago, um, just covering what's going on with HS2. But I'm just sort of coming from the other side just to see what it's going, what it's like, and what's going on. Uh, for some reason, someone's been doing a bit of clearing. Don't know why. Not that way, Austin. Come on, we've got to go back this way. Come on. Yeah, because I wanted to see what HS2 were up to because the, uh, the public footpath bridge, which is just up here on my left, was closed. I have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold at the minute. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go and have a look, see if we can get on it yet. Here would have been the, uh, still here, thank God, the bridge crosses over Great Central. So this is a public footpath. Austin's 
chasing a deer. You won't be able to catch that deer, Austin. A bit quicker than you. So yeah, it's nice to see they still kept this bridge because uh, it's not quite on the line of HS2, but it's very close. Yeah, but yeah, look, you can see a access road they've made. It's amazing how much land they've actually taken to build this railway. If you try and scan in, it gives you a, a good idea of the, the path of the line, which would be straight ahead from this point. So yeah, there we go. There we go, that's the trap bed of the Great Central. And off over there is where I said it's uh, very overgrown and a bit of a swamp. It's just within that area there. What a change. I'll try and get a picture up once again and what it looked like just in case you've not seen it on one of my old past videos give you an idea what it looked like along here i've got the drone with me today so i might stick the drone up as well to try and get a bit of aerial footage let's just see if we can get a view of the, the bridge from the side just going to climb up this mound. Austin straight up. Yes, yeah, so there you go. The trap bed this area is no more. I mean, this is going to be a temporary road that they're building here, so whether they'll get rid of it all again and dig it all out, I don't know. So there we go, there's a look at HS2 again over Radstone area. And uh, let's stick the drone up and have a look from above.
struggling to get this on the way back. Um, I lost him. No. Trust you to go in it. <clears throat> this beautiful Calvert. Built by the Great Central. Um, to see out the other end of it. And I see a bank on the top. I mean, the effort they put into building just these calverts. I mean, you look at that brickwork. It's getting a bit dark now, but still in great nick.